Are you looking to increase your design skills and productivity? From sketching, surfacing, assemblies, and everything in between, our books have you covered. Purchase a paperback or PDF version in our store today. Hello everyone, this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and today I would like to show you some neat geometry created by a feature called Implicit Modeling. And Implicit Modeling allows you to put a kind of a texture on models and it's amazing um, how you can create this geometry and there's just like no way that you'd be able to create it without implicit modeling. So I'm going to start by creating a piece of geometry that I want to put this amazing texture on. And you'll see how powerful this technique is. So here, Z, get over here. I'm trying to put this little point on this little curve, there we go, and this little point goes on this little curve, there we go, and I'm going to take an arc, and pop it out this way, and another arc and pop it out that way, and I want these arcs to be uh, equal radius, so there's that, oops, I didn't have my automatic selection progression on just then, so I would definitely like to have that on there. And then I'm going to do this. Like that. And make sure that they're tangent. Like so. Cool. And then trim. <clears throat> All right. So there is the basic shape. I think I'll put one of those there, like that. All right, so we're extruding that a bunch. And now I'm going to create another extrude that looks like this. We haven't gotten to the in implicit modeling portion of our program yet. We're getting there. I just want to start with some cool shape, you know? So let's uh, go make this a little bit smaller. There's this arrow. Okay, I want to take this and just move it up like this. Okay, and I want to do an intersect. There we go. So there's my basic shape. I'm going to do this to it. And I'm going to do this to it, so there, there's the basic shape that I'm going to apply this texture to. So the next thing I do is go to Home More and I go to the Implicit Modeling task. And as you can see, there's a lot here. There's, you can put on this Schwartz pattern or the Schoen. All these different patterns. I'm going to use this one, the Lidnoid. I'm going to put a Lidnoid on there. Now, in order to progress, you select a body, like so. And it gives you the basic pattern that you're going to be applying, or the basic uh, implicit shape. And then you can start playing around with it um, to make sure that it's what you want. So there's this thing called a K factor. And if you orient the K factor or move the K factor, you can see how radically the uh, shape changes based on the K factor. And then you can vary the edge lengths too. So everything that you do has this ramification. And uh, you can edit the thickness. And, you know, there's a lot of equations and math going on in the background. So let's say we like this. 
and we simply say okay and then what it's doing is it's sitting there and it's applying that algorithm if you will to the envelope of the geometry and then you can hide that and oh that looks terrible here let's uh, try something else delete that let's bring the solid back that one didn't work and let's try um, let's try the diamond let's put that there sure and um, I think this is probably going to be a lot better um, bear with me so there's a point two no nope. point three okay and say okay and this typically takes a while because there's a lot of math going on in the background a lot of calculations and you can use this when you're 3D printing. You can imagine you have a piece of geometry and you want a core that has some strengthening, some stiffening. So look at that. That's nice and uniform. And what I might do next is take this and get out of the uh, explicit modeling and do a shell with a negative number, minus 0 0.05, and do a closed. So I'm going to shell that little piece of geometry, make it a little bit, a little bit thinner, 0 0.01, so say OK. And so now what I have, if I say Control H, is a, a hollow piece of geometry that has this nice core. Uh, now, the manufacturing process that I would suggest is one of uh, 3D printing <laughs> because, uh, you know, I don't think you're going to be able to cast this. Um, try uniting it. Let's see if that will work. It's struggling. Unite. And I may have to offset the internal surfaces so they overlap a little bit. So that's probably what I should have done in the first place. But as you can see, this is an incredibly powerful, I think I'll stop it. This is an incredibly powerful technique that um, you might be able to get lots of use out of if you're doing shapes that you need to have some internal structure so that they are stiffer or something like that. So... Explicit modeling is just another, um, it's just another uh, amazing, uh, I'm sorry, implicit modeling. It's just another amazing technique that's available in NX and something that's easy to use and, um, you know, something hopefully that you'll get use out of when you're uh, creating maybe a foam or, or a cushion or something of this nature. Anyway, uh, my name is Steve Samuel. The uh, website is Design Visionaries or www.designviz. And of course, there's a lot of these videos on the YouTube channel at Design Visionaries. And I hope you comment, like them, um, and the whole nine yards. Thank you very much for your viewership.